Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel today. But I wanted to show you my low waist laundry routine. I just know that this would have been very helpful to me several years ago because we all think of the standard laundry detergent, dryer sheets, fabric softener, machine dry. That's just how we as Americans do laundry. So this was something that I never really thought of until just the last year or so about making my laundry routine more eco-friendly. And I wish I would have started earlier because it's so easy to make this more eco-friendly all the way from detergent to hang drying and everything in between. So let me just show you how I do my laundry in an eco-friendly way. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. I make new content every Monday and Thursday, Japan Standard Time, which is Sunday and Wednesday in the US. And I focus on all sorts of things, practical sustainability, which is free, easy, and fun ways to make zero waste living fun and accessible to almost everyone. The number one thing that I do is to make sure that the load is actually full. I wouldn't just wash, you know, a sweatshirt and a towel. I'll make sure my basket is entirely full, see if there's either any dirty rags or anything around the house that need to be washed and make sure that the machine is at least three quarters if not all the way full just because it's such a waste of water and power to only wash a small load. Some random bit that I just thought of is, I have a hole in my sweatshirt, that's what I'm playing with. So I don't know if this is necessarily laundry, but something else I do, if I find holes in my stuff, I will mend them. I will just, you know, quickly sew this hole closed so that I can wear this sweatshirt even longer. Oh, that does not need to be in the wash. So watch. Same with towels and socks, t-shirts, everything in between. I will make sure to mend it so that it lasts longer. Okay, and then something else before I actually put the clothes in the washing machine. This is a new addition to my laundry routine is this Cora ball. This ball is designed to catch microfibers. As you can see, hopefully these little, can you see that? I don't know if it's focused. It has like little teeth in there. This is made out of silicone, maybe even recycled plastic. I think they make these out of recycled plastic and they're made in Vermont, I think. And then it is designed to catch microfibers. Now, I've had this for a few loads now. My mom got this for me for Christmas, but I haven't been able to see any microfibers being caught. Now, I think this differs from a microfiber filter. Those are going to filter out even the teeniest, tiniest microfibers. This isn't able to catch that. But what I think this will do is if you have a string on your clothes. It will catch all the strings that come off so that those strings, most likely made out of polyester or other plastic-based clothing, won't end up in our water. So regardless of if it just catches the bigger microplastics, microfibers, or the smaller ones or everything in between, I throw this into every single load that I do. If you've been around for a while, you probably have seen my detergent review video. In that video, I reviewed four different types of detergent, but now I have a fifth eco-friendly laundry detergent option that I love. In that video, I talked about how I am a diehard soap and nuts fan just because they are a completely organic material that can be composted at the end of their life. I think that's really cool. But of course, not everyone's into using soap nuts. It can be a little weird, especially when transitioning into zero waste. So because of that, I recommend the True Earth laundry strips, or I did recommend the True Earth laundry strips. I do still think this is a great option. You can learn more about it in that video, but simply put, it's a concentrated sheet formula that you can either dissolve in water or put it directly into your machine. But True Earth is a little pricey. Something I've been trying recently that I also got for Christmas, the Concentrated Eco Bar laundry detergent. And I have a review video for Concentrated as well, linked up here. Concentrated has eight different bars as of now um, when I'm filming this, but this is their laundry bar, which is super, super cool. I've never heard of a laundry bar before, but it's similar to True Earth and that is a concentrated bar that you add water to and then add to your machine. Simply put, in that laundry video, I talked about how 99, 96 loads of True Earth weighs half a pound, 99 loads of seventh generation liquid detergent weighs eight pounds or eight and a half, nine pounds. It weighs a lot more than the concentrated stuff, just like this bar. And it has just as many loads. So the thing with the heavy stuff is that it takes so much more energy to ship. And then when you're also sold the concentrated formula, you don't need that much because it's a concentrate. You add the water when you get home. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna add some hot water, dissolve this, make my own liquid detergent at home, and then we're gonna get this party started. To make this even more eco-friendly, I shredded this into an upcycled container, which is pretty cool. And then to warm my water, I use the microwave as opposed to using the stove because the microwave is more energy efficient. Small details that make my laundry routine even more eco-friendly. But here we have it. This is the liquid detergent 
detergent. All it takes is a teaspoon for a small load like this. You can use two teaspoons if you've got a kind of smelly load or a big load, or you can even use half a teaspoon if you've got a really teeny tiny load. And you might be wondering, why do I even make it into a liquid detergent? Can't you just put the, the little sprinkles right into your wash? Yes, you can if you use hot water. But in order to make my laundry routine even more eco-friendly, I use cold water or room temperature water. And that is because it takes a lot of energy to heat your water from room temperature or outdoor temperature to hot, especially how much water it takes to do a load of laundry. So in order to minimize my carbon footprint, I keep my washing machine set on cool or cold. And because of that, the both the true earth and the concentrated don't dissolve in cold water. So I have to turn them into a hot liquid detergent, which is totally fine. It only takes me an extra minute out of my day. So once my load is dry, it's still washing now. And now I used to be a big, big fan of a drying machine. Honestly, still am. It's convenient, it's quick, but it uses a lot of energy. So if I happen to do laundry on a rainy day or or I do laundry that needs to be dried, but I'm about to head to work. I don't want it to sit and get all musty in my washing machine. So sometimes I do use the drying machine. And when I do use the drying machine, I use wool balls, but you can also use silicone balls if you're not a fan of using wool. What this does is it helps fluff up your laundry so that it actually dries quicker. And then again, just like with the washing machine, I put my dryer on eco mode to save energy and still dry my clothes just as great. But that's kind of my last resort. I prefer to hang my clothes up. I have these nifty little blue hanger things that I use in my bathroom to hang up undergarments. And then I also have a larger drying rack for the clothing. We actually got both of these items secondhand. And then thirdly, we have some clips. That way we can hang towels and blankets over the railing on our balcony and they can be dried that way. So we have a lot of options for drying our clothes in a more eco-friendly way. Using the natural sun and wind requires zero energy. And then using the dryer, just make sure that you put it on an eco setting and you use some sort of wool balls or silicone balls to help with dry time shorten. And something else that I do to make my clothes last longer is I store my clothes correctly. And here's what I mean. Pretty much so stuff like this doesn't happen. I'm learning how to store my clothes correctly. Now, I'm not quite a pro on it yet. It's it's simple things like folding your sweaters and storing them like this or just folding them in half and storing them like so. So that way the collars don't get stretched out. You don't get random holes in them from the hook going through and things like that. It just makes your clothes last longer. I just dropped it. It just makes your clothes last longer and in turn, you don't have to buy as many new clothes. Clothing, as many new clothing. Same with jeans, I hang them like so. Instead of maybe hanging them from the belt loops, this just puts the least wear and tear on my pants. If you'd like more easy and free ways to conserve energy, you can check out this video up here, as well as I have an easy water conservation video too that goes right along with that. I'll leave that linked down below. And those both go right along with my zero waste laundry routine. And again, don't forget to check out my last video about zero waste laundry detergents. I'll leave that video linked down below as well so that you can explore all the different laundry detergents detergent options that might work best for you. They all vary in cost. Most are pretty cost effective. The most eco-friendly option is soap nuts and they actually happen to be the cheapest one as well. If you have any more questions about zero waste laundry routine, let me know. I'd love to follow up on this or just chat with you guys down in the comments. If you'd like to see other zero waste routines in my life, zero waste cleaning routine, zero waste XYZ routine, <laughs> definitely let me know. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I hope it inspires you to make your laundry routine a little more eco-friendly. Now you don't have to go out and buy all these swaps all at once because that can add up, but it's simple things like using things you already have to dry your clothing. Like I hang my clothes up in the bathroom because the bathroom is pretty much a built-in drying rack, the bathroom, the shower curtain. And then looking on Facebook Marketplace and your local thrift stores for drying racks, clothes pins, things like that because people are always getting rid of stuff and that way you don't have to buy something brand new. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it thumbs up on it would really make my day and let me know what other sort of stuff you'd like to see from me. But that is all that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, remember that these small changes you make have a big impact in the long run. Bye guys. Oh, is it still recording? Oh, is the, I don't know. Concentrated. If I do laundry on a rainy day and I, that's my cue. And what this does is this helps fluff up, this helps fluff up your, I store my clothes correctly. And here's what I mean. I don't quite know exactly what I mean. I think that's it. But of course, like I said, the most zero waste option is soap nut. It's, did I just lag in real life?